As the chill of the morning wanes, the Gator support staff began preparations for another intense day of practice. The 2020 season has been questioned, debated, placed in limbo, and uncertain more often than not. And as equipment is unpacked once again, as cleats are tightened and helmets strapped, as machines are dusted off and the lines drawn, they're all pointing towards one thing. Football is back. All right, guys, players are on their way out. Get right. Yo, give me your head now, yup, yup. Yo. Gotta go, baby, gotta go, dang. Yup, yup, order, coming, Brad. Right, you ready to go or what? Hi, little juice, can you put up? Yup, 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 yup. Can't be a good day today, it's gotta be a great day. Gotta be flying around 100 miles an hour, have a lot of fun while we're out here, okay? Here comes the question. Who is the guy that's setting the standard? Who here is willing to pay the price for us to go be a great team? Who's willing to go do that? That has to be the mindset as we go attack the day today. For the Gators to achieve even a semblance of their goals, it takes work from sunup to sundown, and the hours in between. I'm gonna get y'all a day in the life, man. Make sure y'all master up early, but we master up here well. Good morning, Parker, how you doing? How are you? Oh, God. All know today. Yeah, that thing going now. Appreciate you, Parker. Appreciate you, yes, sir. Today, don't judge me. We got the old man ahead of day, rolling his feet out today, man. <laughs> treatment because they've been having to block me you feel me you got the savages in the building real savages in the building man real savages man yeah, they don't see your face now. <laughs> Real savages in the building, man. Yeah, talk to him. <laughs> talk to him, coach. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bring it. Bro. Speak that. Look at this, man. Why you like that, bro? Yeah, my bad. I apologize, though. Like I apologize. Man, early Saturday morning, we have like that, I apologize, bro. Say up. Get in your zone, now. <laughs> we got these boys here, what they do, chat? What it is now? How you living? Yes, sir. Hey, key. You feel me right here, bitch, Zach? Got these toes coming up, now. <laughs> got bitch, Zach, back in the building, man. Sure. They blessing us today. Them condiments, right? That's, that's my plate right there. I know it look good. Like right, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. A global pandemic has brought unforeseen challenges for a team that thrives on overcoming them. Success means being on the same page, especially in Todd Grantham's meeting room. All right, here we go. Install three right here, okay? 
All right, the fronts we got in today. Okay, flat for us is. I think that with the situation we're in as a team and, and a unit, um, you know, when the COVID hit, um, you obviously had to have the ability to adjust and adapt to everything that you were doing. They're going to snap the ball back here. So, Buck, you got to be ready to play that. Buck, you okay with that right there? Anybody got any questions on that? He just wants everybody to be great. He wants everybody to succeed. Um, he's been coaching uh, defenses for a very long time, and uh, he knows exactly what he wants. He knows exactly how he wants it done. If he mows the empty, you got it. Does that make sense? Is everybody cool with that right there? Set the edge on the run. Take your time now. If the back is to you, it's usually going to be run away, so you can think, hey, I got to get body help, whatever. Backs at home. Right? Um, preparation is big because, like, most of us outside linebackers, we watch film by ourselves because knowing Coach Grantham wants the best for us, and, like, he's the defensive coordinator and our position coach, so we, we're supposed to know. Help that and be ready to play the back right here on the check down. See that? That's a pretty good job right there. Just keep your eyes on the back. Okay. We have good leadership within our with our in our room. When you look at Jeremiah Moon, who's a guy that was playing really well for us last year, um, he's a leader. Uh, he takes charge um, of guys, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. And some pressure, tripped up, and he goes down. Jeremiah Moon brought him down. He leads by example with his work ethic. Uh, he studies the game and has really become a better player. Same thing with you know Chris Bogle, Andrew Chatfield. Those guys have been around a little bit. I'm just trying to work on like technique, getting off the ball faster, working on my hands. Uh, I learned a lot from John. That was really part of the plan of bringing John here initially. Meaning, I knew what kind of person he was, what kind of character he had, and we had some young guys. I felt that the best way guys learn is through other players. And I would see how he would prepare before the game. So I just follow him in his footsteps. It's a lead by example. Well, as, I mean, guys want to make plays. Players want to make plays. And when you can get leadership like that, I think it enhances everything that coach reinforces. Is everybody good on that right there? OK. All right, man, we got to roll. Good day today. Let's have energy. Let's roll. The grind and strain that goes into reaching the goal set for this team is never ending. To accomplish those goals first requires a strong foundation. Fire, fire. Ah, what do you got today, Chad? You got any juice for me or what? Ah, boom, 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 boom. That foundation is built in the offseason through toil, repetition, and understanding that the devil is in the details. What we're going to do is gator tackle right here. So, all we're doing right here is we're tracking the backside hip of this, right? As we hit the guy, we're going to roll, hit and roll. Everybody good on that right there, hit and roll. Here we go. He's going to coach you hard. And um, like I said, if he gets on to you, it's all love. He wants you to be um, just the very best you can be and um, come out with passion and competitive uh, toughness and competitive excellence every single day. Right here, good, and you got quarterback, right? Play that to fall back. Let's do it again. Like, you're going to take that away with your angle and then you fall back on the quarterback. Let's do it again. I think just being able to be a practice, be able to be tired, be able to, um, you know, coach on the grass, as I say, that's something I really love to do. And seeing guys improve and develop, I mean, those are things that are fun. And then, and then looking at guys, maybe you gotta correct something on tape, and you take that and you correct it, and they go back the next day and they improve it and they get it right. Oh, you gotta swing more than that. Who you got? You got quarterback. If this tackle came, you got to cross his face. So let's do it again. I'll be the, I mean the guard. I'll be the guard. Here we go. Set, go. Here we go. Set, set. Good. Come on. Here we go. It's just great to see how, how far uh, along everybody has come. Coming out every day, um, going hard every play, no matter how bad it hurts. Because um, when, you, when you can play when you're tired, um, that's, when, that's when you got them. When you can look over at the opponent and just know that they ain't put in as much work as you have, I think that's what sets you apart from the rest. What's expected, we, are, we already know, we should know. Come off the ball fast, every play, every down. Because Grantham is one of a kind, like, he's gonna tell you what you need to get better on and do it 
effectively the next day. You know, you always had to play with relentless effort. Um, you've always got to develop yourself as a player. And understanding those things and being good communicators and, and really just going out and playing as a unit. If you do that, everything falls into place. All right, hey, there were some good things, but listen, we got to be more consistent. You understand what I'm saying? We can't have two or three really good plays, and all of a sudden we got a play that gives up an explosive play. Everybody got me? Everybody good on that right there? So tomorrow is basically a review day of the first three, okay? All right, man, get a break, get on out of here. Good job. Hey, brothers on three. One, two, three. Brothers. 2020 has forced the unheard of to become the mundane. But some things never change. For starters, where the food is, the players will be. So our lunch setup looks a little bit different. The buffet is served versus serve yourself. So they get service with a smile um, and everything is in to-go packaging. So that way you can get enough food, get plenty of food for recovery after practice. We have got proteins, carbohydrates, electrolytes. Get some sweet potato fries, too. And then the protein, zoom in on the protein. Got the glazed salmon. Might need one more piece. One more piece. I'm gonna get a little baked meat. I'm gonna give me a little macaroni. Mix it up. Cookout style. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. I don't eat sweet potatoes, so I didn't get the sweet potato fries. Get a little mac and cheese. No seafood. I don't eat seafood, so I'm gonna get a hamburger. Good burger. Good burger. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's a good meal right there. That's it. Thank you. Making sure that they can get multiple plates, multiple boxes, lots of food, and, and get everything that they need um, to replenish their bodies and, and recover after practice. Probably some of them baked beans. We got out here macaroni, chicken, the basic. Macaroni and cheese, that's the best food in America. Just keep pinning on the mac and cheese. And bacon. Bacon on top of it. Yeah, it's special. It don't get no better. Tim Brewster arrived at the swamp in February. This is his first real chance to be with his tight ends face to face, but he's already made an impression. Today's Monday, right? Today's Monday. We've got our first full pad practice, right, man? First full pad practice, okay? Let's make sure that we get after it, right? Let's get out. We've had a great camp so far. Let's make sure that we lock into the details, right? Lock into the. You woke up this morning and you came to this meeting, okay, with a great attitude. You're going to give great effort, okay? You play with great attitude. You give great effort. Great stuff's going to happen, right? Great stuff's going to happen, okay? Coach Mullen has established a culture of excellence here at the University of Florida. Uh, our players understand what the expectations of this program are. They understand the responsibility that it means to be a Florida Gator. For movement, create a new line of scrimmage, right? Create a new line of scrimmage, let's go to work. It's all about the relationships that you build with your players. I'm an extremely demanding football coach. I believe in the details, I believe in the fundamentals, and I believe that that's the only way, that's the only way I know how to teach. At first, I was like, hmm, who is this guy, Tim Brewster? I was, at first, I was kind of quiet. I was trying to figure him out, like, how he works and operates and stuff like that. Now that I got to know him, he's much of a on it coach like he's he don't sugarcoat nothing he's gonna tell you what's right from wrong and i just like that about him it's not a perfect world right guys it's not a perfect world so we have to adjust right you've got to adjust to what happens on the field and again no panic right there's no panic okay if it's not perfect okay just just react to what you see it makes it easier for us to understand certain things that we didn't know or new things to learn so he always hones in on the small details, which will make us better in the games. I'm gonna tell you what, this is really good, man. If I can just get you more efficient with your arm action, okay? Stay in a sprinter, but that's a good job right there, okay? But what I have to do with the way I coach, 
I got to make sure that my players understand how much I care about them. Okay? How much I truly love my players. I've loved every kid I've ever coached. I treat every single kid that I've coached like a son. If you made a catch that was on your back hip right here, it looked really easy. Okay? You looked really efficient right here. Okay? I love it, Jonathan Odom. Okay? Hey, hey, you're getting better. You're getting better. Okay? You're getting better. Building a football player, a true football player, a true three down tight end is what I'm all about. Okay, be aggressive. We can't let him up the field. We can't let him penetrate. Like, you don't gotta be afraid to like, tell me when I'm wrong. Just tell me when I'm wrong, I need to know, I, I, I need to learn how to get better. Okay guys, we're out. Let's go. Let's have a great day. Let's have a great day. Let's go to work. I'll say we all have like different things that we need to work on. So he, you know, he points out small, specific details, you know, in everyone's game. So and he like makes sure that each practice, whatever you need to work on, is being worked on. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Yes. Again. There you go. And the whole philosophy of practice is is do it right so many times that in the heat of the battle, okay, when the game's on the line in the fourth quarter, you're gonna execute. This is the cage. This is the cage. Battle Royale, okay? You're on defense. You're on offense. You gotta catch three balls before you can get out of the cage. Anything goes. Yeah, that'll correlate to the game because somebody might be holding you. You need to get them off you to catch the ball and to keep the play going, so. Uh, I think that will translate to the game. And you got to put your body on him, put him create space, I'll flip you the ball, okay? Three catches and then you're out. And I love how we practice here. I love the grind here. You know, at the University of Florida, it's about embracing the grind. Work him, work him, work him, Pitsy. Work him, back, good, good. Battle, baby, battle royale. We're fighting for the ball. I want you to take the ball. You take the ball, turn up and go, go. Ah, I strong-handed you. You know, I want to mention guy. He wants us to like do different things. He like to keep things fun. Attack move. It just goes back to how you practice. Practice is so important. Okay, in your preparation, and again, you've done it right so many times in practice. Okay that your execution is not gonna fail you in the game because it becomes second nature. Like being a better student in the game. So just watch a film, know how to dissect it. Looking at my defender, everybody who I'm going against, I know their tendencies. Um, small things like in the blocking game, that's the first two steps in hat placement and hand placement, all that stuff correlates. So just putting out all that, all that together with knowing your assignment, knowing the man's assignment next to you, and the whole offense, it just makes the game easier. I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and, and I just couldn't be more excited to come to work. It, it brings a smile to my eye, just, uh, you know, I've been smiling a whole lot lately. Okay, guys, I love the group. It's a good group of guys, man, and I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna be damn good, okay? We just gotta keep chopping wood, keep chopping wood every day. And when you're tired at the end of the practice, that's when the great ones, don't be afraid to talk to yourself. Have a conversation with yourself. Okay? Tell yourself, hey, I got to push here. Okay? I got to go here. I got to keep my mind locked in. I can, you know, what they say, fatigue makes cowards of us all, right? Okay? That's an old saying, Vince Lombardi saying, right? Tomorrow, it's a review session, right? It's a review practice, okay? Let's be ready to go. Okay, win on three. One, two, three, win. win. Hey, eyes up, man. Eyes up, eyes up real quick. Eyes up. Hey, that was a good day. Um, every day, I'm starting to see us look more like we're getting ready to go play football. Okay, from the, all the different time we miss, our practices sounded, you can listen to it, pads popping, sounding a little sharper, a little crisper. A lot of things we gotta clean up, a lot of things we gotta still get better at, okay? But our approach and how we are practicing, we're heading in the right direction where we need to be. Take care of the body, get the body right. Hey, we're doing a great job, continue to make smart decisions. As more people come back to town, 
the more we have to sacrifice and be smart. We have to sacrifice and be smart in everything that we do. Everybody got me? We good? Gators on three. One, two, three. Good. Yeah. We start busy. At yeah, first it was keeping up with TG, now they do the they own, they, they own other YouTube. Now it's keeping up with KP. It's Pitsy. Oh, Pitsy. That's the name of the episode, Pitsy. Starring Kyle Pitsy. Got me on blue right here, man. You still learn. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him, baby, right here. Oh, hell. <laughs> there you go. That's not getting put on there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's your boy TG, man. My boy, my boy Pitsy right here, he put me on the camera. We're gonna go crazy today. Hey, hey, you forget one. Hey, there you go. You want me on the camera? Man, talk to him. Oh, man, you want me scared. He's scared. He's scared of the camera. I like the camera. I love the camera. Yeah, you got your video, Mark. Go! Hey, camera's on. Mark is gonna play. Camera's on. Mark is gonna play. Pitsy. Yeah. Hey, and you're Grimesy. I like that one. You know? Grimesy. <laughs> that got a ring to it. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs>